Hello and welcome everyone, this is Mr. Umath and in today's video I want to prove uh, Cauchy's condensation test, okay, and um, this is because of a request of a YouTube user who asked me if I could uh, go ahead and just uh, give a short proof to that, and this is not the most rigorous proof, but actually it's pretty easy to, to waste more time and to make it even more rigorous, but it actually makes sense, okay, how to work that out. Now, first of all, uh, let's have a look at the density, I, I sometimes call it the uh, Cauchy Density Theorem, which is actually not the name, it should be uh, named in English, it's uh, the Cauchy Condensation Test, and what it tells you is if you have a sum, and you want to find out if this guy is converging, then look at this sum, okay, and what is the difference is that now in front you have 2 to the k, so our indices changed, and what we also have here is you don't take a n, but you only take the a 2 to the k, so you only uh, look at powers of 2, but that will become clear right now. So first of all, what is also important about this, uh, this guys here have to be monotonely decreasing, monotonely decreasing, Increasing, okay, and which is also very important is that their signs are equal, okay. Most time people tend to say just it has to be only plus signs, but I um, say that if if it's only negative signs, take out the minus, then you have again a sum with only positive signs, and then you can use again this test. So it doesn't matter, but uh, you are not allowed to have a alternating series, for example, plus one, minus one, and so forth. Now let's have a look and just write it down, okay, so we have a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus a5 plus a6 plus a7 plus a8 and so forth, okay, this is the sum and I want to go ahead and estimate it below, okay, first of all this guy here I just want to estimate with himself okay now these both guys um, are very important okay now these guys here I will estimate them with a2 and actually now this is important because we have a monotonely decreasing uh, series okay that means that a3 is actually smaller than a2 okay so this guy we didn't approximate at all so we just wrote down that this is equal to a2 and this now I write instead of using a3 I'm using a2 okay now let's go ahead and look at the upcoming guys here and again you see here these guys and what I see in here is that we have a4, this a5 is again smaller than a4 because they are monotonely decreasing and this guy also. Okay, so now let's add all these guys together. So we have a4 plus a4 plus a4 plus a4 okay and now actually we would do the same and uh, now let's have a look how many terms would you, we have we would have uh, here so maybe I'll just write it down so we have a1 plus 2 to the 1 okay because we have two of these guys a to the 2 to the 1 I'm just bringing it to the same kind that is here plus then we have here 4 which is 2 to the 2 and here we have 2 to the 2, so uh, the next term, which we could imagine would have been common, if we would have 8 other terms in here, and we would estimate them being smaller than A8, then you would get out of this, so uh, I'll just write it down, you get 8 times A8, okay, being 2 to the 3, A to the 2, 3, and so forth, okay? Now what you see is we have another sum here, which is the upper approximation to this guy here, okay, which is the upper approximation to this guy, and if this is converging, then we know by the criterion of uh, majorant um, convergent or the convergent majorant, we know that this guy has to be also convergent, so if this has a constant value, let's say that this guy has a value of a, 
no not a let's make it b <laughs> because we use a here so if it has a value of b then this is a upper limit to this guy and it's pretty easy to understand that we have here monotonely decreasing parts and you are adding them together so they this number actually gets larger and larger but there is a upper boundary to this and this is the criterion of convergent majorant and by that we conclude that if uh, actually we only get the stuff that I have already written down above uh, that this guy is convergent. You can do the same thing, so this is only for the convergence actually what I've written down now, but uh, you can do almost the same trick for divergence with just shifting these indices and then you get convergence, okay? Uh, yes, uh, that actually is it okay so actually we are only using this idea of estimation if you have watched my video about the harmonic series we almost use the same kind of um, estimation what you could also do is instead of taking a pair of two you could take a pair of three numbers but that wouldn't actually do a lot to your um, sum actually you can uh, also write this in such a manner that if uh, you can use 3k a to the 3k and so forth so there are no limits but it seems that this guy is the best estimation and you see why because the more terms you take in their example here with nine terms and uh, three terms nine terms you just get a worse approximation so this term is the best for approximating this guy here and Actually, that's it. If you still have questions, then feel free to ask. And I thank you for watching my video. See you guys.